Hello and welcome to Gold Buzzer. Are you still buying gold? Are you still putting some of that fiat currency aside every month and trading it for some real assets? If you are doing it, well done. If you are not doing it, then you need to wake up because time is running out. Yes, I know that uh, the stock market is making new highs, but come on, they are pumping so much money into the system, that money has to go somewhere, right? And since it's not going to Main Street, I can only assume that that bailout money is still in Wall Street. Do not be surprised by the fact that the S&P 500 is making new highs because during inflation times, everything is rising, everything is more expensive. Therefore, nominal profits that companies are showing are rising. And if profits look bigger, share prices will also trend higher. So I guess that uh, people 401ks might look a bit better. But the problem is the prices of the food and the prices of uh, the clothes they are buying are also trending higher. And sometimes they trend higher quicker than the shares in their 401ks and people do not even realize that. They might start to comprehend the madness of the situation when we switch from inflation to hyperinflation. But when we reach that stage of hyperinflation, it might be just too late for them. That's why I'm so bullish on gold and precious metals. I know that this is the perfect edge against inflation and hyperinflation. I mean, come on, do not be fooled by the media. We are still deep in the financial crisis and really and truly it is getting only deeper and the situation with Greece is the perfect example I mean who wants to hold euros when one country just one country can bring down a whole continent the whole European economy who wants to hold euros you have to be mad, you have to be crazy. Yes, yes, I know, I know, they say that they have a plan. They say that uh, they have a great strategy to solve the Greek problem. But even after that announcement, hedge fund managers are still moving away from fiat currencies toward uh, tangible assets. And this shows that they don't have a lot of trust in the eurozone right now and anyway who can blame them gold is the safest way to protect your wealth do not get me wrong even though i'm very bullish on precious metals i am still uh, realistic i am fully aware of the fact that many are expecting a big correction in the gold price. Some analysts think that gold might go to $1050 per ounce or even $950 per ounce. And yes, this might be a problem if you are in it for the short term. But me, I am in it for the long run. So if the price does correct, well, 
that will just be a great buying opportunity for me. Remember, some things never change. Gold has been the symbol of power and wealth for thousands of years. No matter what happens in the short term, gold will always be money. And by that I mean real money.